Hello everyone, I'm Robert Kemeny with NCSI. Today we will be demonstrating how to create a super user that's read-only for auditing purposes on the Palo Alto Network's firewall. Let's get started by logging into our firewall. Once we're logged in all the way here, we'll go over to our device tab here across the top and then we're going to select administrators to create that user. We'll click the plus button down at the bottom here. We're going to give this user a name. We don't need an authentication profile, but if you have one set up and want to um, authenticate against uh, objects in your directory, you can certainly do that. Uh, you can use certificates as well, which is that uh, next choice down if you'd like to do that. We're just going to leave this as a simple user with a password. Read only. Read only. You can use uh, public key authentication if you'd like to set up uh, SSH keys. Also a good way to secure your firewall. Uh, the type is going to be administrator. We're going to leave it as dynamic. Um, you could do role-based if you have some predefined roles that want to limit uh, some of the pages that they can see and things like that. But today we're just going to do a super user read only to give it um, uh, uh, give the auditor permissions to look anywhere that they want in the firewall and still not be able to change anything. Uh, if we have password profile set up, then you would uh, select the appropriate one there from our drop-down. But this is good enough for us to talk about our quick tip today. We'll click the OK button. To take, uh, have those changes take effect, uh, we're going to commit those changes and we'll demonstrate uh, logging back into the firewall. Uh, we'll see you on the other side of this commit. Okay, here we are on the other side of that commit. We'll go ahead and close that successful commit. Let's log out and get logged in as our uh, read-only user and attempt to make some changes. Read-only. Same dismissal of the pop-up box there. And if we were to go back to that same device area and those administrators and maybe try and remove a user, we can't. It's grayed out. Um, if we wanted to delete some certificates or anything like that, we wouldn't be able to do that. So uh, we know that that's working. We can't do a commit. It will give us uh, no changes. So we can't do any of those actions just to log in, log out. But then your administrator can poke around and look at any settings without changing anything. It's a good way to stay compliant. And that's our uh, tech tip, how to do um, read-only users in the Palo Alto Networks firewall. Uh, check out NCSI's website if you have time. We appreciate you for watching. Thanks.